Good morning, folks. When the sun pops off a coronal mass ejection, charged particles race through space and, if headed at Earth, slam into our magnetic shields. Sometimes lights up the auroras, but there's another aspect to this, and you might remember the videos we did a while back about how much they affect air currents and ocean currents. We've shown multiple papers suggesting this affects sea level, pressure on underlying tectonic plates, perhaps even quakes. There are a lot of people who are using this to try to tie in cyclones as well. It's new science, folks. Speaking of weather, this line across the tropics has NOAA watching both ends for rotation. The U.S. mainland deals with heat today. Alaskan volcano sent up blasts yesterday. There are no less than eight lies in this article. At least, you might find more. If you see Fukushima debris, do not do this. Please just don't touch it. Imagine your town is closed up protesting the government proposal to take over important lands and 12-foot-high waves start punishing you. At least you hope it's the waves. Also, had a five-pointer in northwestern India, similar quake off the Oregon coast. A six-pointer in Alaska, along with a large aftershock, both sent L waves worldwide, digging seismograms across the earth. We also had a significant earthquake in southern Australia, and Nebraska is witnessing a mass fish die-off. The induction magnetometer anomaly. Every day at 1400, these flat lines begin and stop about 14 to 16 hours later. It is very low frequency, not harp. Trust me, you cannot watch them use it here. Forget that notion. But that's about the only thing off the table in terms of an explanation for this. The sun is taking a cat nap. She had a long weekend. Without flares, I direct your attention to the many thin, darker filaments of plasma. We see these rip off routinely, and one such eruption uh, from Sunday is actually expected to hit Earth today. A major active region of last week is turning away. The rest of the sun is blank. No significant active regions. Today is the solstice, changing of the seasons, going forward in one-day jumps. While these two planets dance up the sky for weeks, Venus is moving away from Earth while Jupiter is actually approaching us. Skywatchers, get ready for a great summer all around. That's the news, folks. Be safe.